What is up everyone? Welcome back for more EXO's Heroes content. In today's video, we're going to discuss FC Shufraken, gameplay and guide, his stats, strengths and weaknesses, character design, his skills, his playability in PvE and PvP, his Guardian Stone recommendations, and synergy with other heroes. But before that, if you want to see more EXO's Heroes content, Please be sure to hit the subscribe button on the right side of your screen. Shufraken has average stats. He doesn't have that really really high stat or really really low. So for the most part, his strengths are his high hit, above average HP, and above average attack speed. And to his weaknesses, he has low attack, low critical hit, and below average block. To talk further about his stats, let's focus on his defense because his passive plays well with his high defense. So his defense is about average. That is why you have to scale his defense through his gears, uh, sorry, through his um, guardian stones and his equipment. So let's have a preview first of his skills. So starting with his uh, basic attack. So his basic attack is very simple, um, not that much animation. Let's go to his S1. His S1 is one of the most animated skills for an S1 that I have ever found. Uh, it's very, very dramatic for an S1 animation. And we go for his S2. His S2 as well is very unique in terms of um, very long animation but overall it's really nice to see good animation as long as it's not that um, long of a duration so if we discuss further his thrust 3 is passive so it's your usual thrust 3 but it includes fear of the abyss so fear of the abyss is if you have targets 10% or less health at the end of the turn, deal 60% damage to all enemies in the same row. So this works well with uh, in encountering battery in the opposite team, and uh, it this helps well in finishing out your enemies as well. And also for his FC, uh, you also have here Harbinger of Awakening, which is very good in terms of also giving him immunity and um, giving him attack speed bonuses so let's move on to his s1 so his s1 uh, versus his uh, original form deals damage his s1 for his original form uh, i think gives him heal over time but i would i i prefer this one because it gives you a clutch it gives you a clutch, what do you call this? It gives you a clutch uh, attack because of his attack speed. He, in, in my team, I tend to finish off uh, the opposite team's FC Iris before she can give her team mana. So this skill is good because of his attack speed and also because of the combo with Fear of the Abyss. And for his S2, it's similar to his regular form. Um, I think there, there's no additional damage. So more or less the same gameplay with regular Shufraken. I would take FC Shufraken over his original form in just a little bit in a case to case if you don't if you don't have FC Shufraken, the regular FC uh, the regular Shufraken will really do good for your team especially with the new meta right now in pvp so here we go with his um, profile so he is with the nation north one frosty so he's called the king of the north um, he's the the general for 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 that nation his element is darkness and his position take note is defense so bump up his defense because he will give a lot of a lot of uh, small damages for fear of the abyss and his attack type is 
physical. Take note, it's not magical. So for to Fraken's playability, his main appeal would be in PvP as a centerpiece in your main team because that team cannot really synergize well without without Shufraken's uh, Fear of the Abyss. Um, he gives a finishing blow to you, to the dying uh, units or the dying heroes of your enemies and he's really a good counter to Bathory because Bathory um, really has, has that powerful skill which is Tranquil so he will do best in PvP in your main team. For PvE, he, he is good at clearing certain areas in your chapters. He is also good in your battle if you're carrying the same PvP, PvP team for your battle. And also he is good in Holy Dragon Grounds for your light and dark day. So if you can see, I can already awaken my Shufraken. But before that, let's go to his recommended Guardian Stones. So I would only recommend two colors for him. So the first one would be Frost because for his equipped set effects, uh, you can have increased in block. But for your Awakened set effect, it's important here because you will be increasing his defense, which you need for to trigger his Fear of the Abyss. And also for Fire, uh, I'm recommending this secondarily because of his damage reduction and when you have this as your awakened set effect, it would give him more HP. So I think those are those are the two Guardian Stones that work best for him in my opinion. So Shofraken synergy with heroes is um, a bit similar to his or to my PvP team. So. He synergizes well with high damage AoE and single target hit units because he, he clears up the remaining HP. Um, he also synergizes with units which increases HP for his survivability and also for units that uh, give him increased defense as well. And also he, al he also favors units which increases his attack. But I would recommend uh, if you really synergize him with other units, you you get units which increases his HP and his defense. So my overall thoughts on Shufraken. Shufraken is pretty much limited to, to content in the game, but he excels pretty much in PvP right now because of, of the meta that we have. So if you really want to build Shufraken for your PvP, he is a really needed centerpiece, even for his original form. So whether you have his FC or regular form, you can both use it for PvP. Um, but again, his function is mostly limited to PvP. For the other contents, um, there are other um, heroes that you could use for dark element days and, and, and light element, but he can be used as well. Overall, he is, for me, a must. Uh, must summon, even though if you don't have his FC skill. And that concludes this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. You all stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Warden out.